Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn in our Easy Beaver Water Beaver colony. And today we've got one explosion to put in here. There we go. And today we are going to work on this area just a bit, maybe getting some new stuff in here, working on some better ways to spend some of this newly found Ninafars and Lotus Flowers. Plus, we've got a couple of other items that we need to take a look at while we're here. So, since we're here and we just blew this up, let's start here. We're going to need a metal staircase, which is a wonderful idea to put in the water all the time. But uh, I'm sure they'll keep the rust out of there just fine. Once they put that in, they can start on our Fountain of Joy. Something else that I want to do... I want to get some decorative trees on either side here. So we're going to just toss in ever blossoms here and we're going to toss them in right there. Now this, I think should be able to be got by this. However, this I don't think reaches there. So now that we've got all those tree places in, I'm going to be taking out this tree place and we're going to be taking out this one over here, but we're going to take this one out first. Let's move it slightly up here so that they can get those done and then we'll just take it right back out just a building to plant a couple of trees i mean if they'd have just said yeah i'll plant some trees i'll just take a couple extra steps we wouldn't have had to do that we probably could have put ladders in and various other things but we're just going to rebuild the whole building so that they can find new places to live because they're going to have to afterwards anyway so we're just going to toss you right there there we go and i want that super high priority so they get it done and we'll make sure to get somebody in there so those get planted now with that we're going to start working on taking out these trees i'm just going to cancel the tree planting area here not that they are going to be able to replant a lot of these trees anyway so let's get rid of that we'll get rid of this and this all of these here, all of these here, there we go. And once they cut all those down, we'll work more on this area. I do want to see if we can get some places for this stuff though. You know what, uh, balloons, let's just move you. How about we grab one of these and in this little space right here, well, I was going to put it there and it decided it didn't want to go there. We'll try again. There we go. And we'll say, hey, put the balloons over here. Not that we need that many balloons anyway, but that's okay. And then the sky exploration, I'm just going to take that out. We'll figure out what to do with that eventually. So once they move those, I also want to take this down just a bit because we'll eventually take this down another level and we'll put a couple more of these greater cooking tents in because right now we should be making quite a bit of that because that's really, really good food. Between episodes, we did get all this dynamite put in, so let's take that out of there. Nothing quite like leveling a mountain. All right, we can take you out. We can take you out. And we will want to leave like a barrier around here. Uh, which way do we want to face this? I mean, we could do a tourism module if I faced it this way. So that's probably the way we'll end up facing it. However, we are just going to do some more dynamite. We're going to leave a one on each side for that. And then we'll work everything else out. I don't even know if we can put anything on that backside. Let's take a look. It only takes one, so we should be able to hang stuff here right at the edge of the map. We'll have to find a way, of course, to get it power, but we might end up just tossing another solar array back here. But let's go ahead, get in some more dynamite while we can. Actually, let's take you out of there and we'll get a road in just to make sure they can do that. There you go. That should 
give them a little bit of a path there. Let's take this dynamite. So while they're not working on anything else, they can come over here and place dynamite because we've got a ton of dynamite to work on. There we go. There we go. And you and you and one more here. There we go. But I'm going to say that's a little lower priority. If you happen to have something else that you can work on, definitely work on that. So there we go. We're starting to get dirt at a better rate. It still takes a good while to put in a block, but what I can do is put some local storage and that'll help speed it up a bit. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start turning this area into an area for the bamboo. It might take a little while, but we're going to work with it that way. So let's get in that terrain block. We want one here and then we're going to go here and here. We'll probably end up taking out a lot of this in here, but I think this should be a high enough wall that we don't have to worry too much about it. So I'm going to go this way. We're going to do that. You know what? Let's just say fill in this whole thing. I don't know if anybody can actually walk over there. Let's get a storage thing. Warehouse storage piles, get a large industrial pile. Actually... They're the same ones, so we might as well just use a large pile. It's cheaper and quicker to build. There we go. Let's get dirt in here, and we'll say obtain that. Let's make it very important to get done. Then they should be able to start on these here. Let's get a couple of items down into this pit here. So we'll go with two of those there. And then I would also like, let's do, just do some platforms. This one and this one and this one. And oh, there is a metal platform here. Interesting. I didn't even know those were, well, hello. Didn't even know those were available. So we might look into that eventually to get a couple more things in there. But I don't think you can build the levees on top of them. So... Any of the waterproof buildings probably don't go on top. Let's get those in there. And then let's start with the dynamite here as well. Uh, dynamite, we're going to want ones here. There we go. And then we're actually just going to do ones here as well. And we will find our way down there when we can. Over here, we did get this dirt in there. So with that... We can go ahead and take out these stairs and start building in some more power for us. I'm going to need platforms. Let's just go straight out this way with the platforms. We'll grab one copy of the wheel here. There we go. Won't need this. Probably need it eventually, but don't need it right now. So let's just connect those in. They should be able to reach all of that, which will just give us another wheel and some extra power to help with all of these hydroponic farms that we're putting in. In fact, we can already go ahead and build pretty big. Let's go ahead and grab some more of the mega platforms. There we go. And we'll see if we can get one right here on top of this tree. There we go. One tree. Two on top of the trees. Three on top of the trees. And four. There we go. That looks really good. Let's build the ladders that we're going to need to get up there. More ladders. Here we go. You can go this way. I think they can stand on this to build the other ones. So we're just going to let them build up this way. It's going to take a bit to be able to go up there. But once we've got the next level up, we can probably start on some more gardens. Uh, I think we've got two types left that we still don't have. Over here, I want to get rid of these trees as well and put in some more chestnut trees since we always seem to be out of those as well. So we're just going to say cancel the planting here and we won't replant any of these. Uh, oops, wrong one. Cancel the planting here. We won't replant any of these. There we go. And all of that and all of this and that and that. And this, and you, and you. 
Now, once those are all cut down, we can come back in and put in more chestnut trees, hopefully. In fact, should we look into just fixing this small problem? I don't know how we can even get in there. Is that a space? There's not a space between them. So I don't really know of a way to get in there other than exploding one down and then taking them all out. Uh, do we want to do that? You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So we can just get some extra trees there too. So we're just going to say, let's take you out of there and we'll come back and work on that later. I found an error in my tower building, so I'm going to have to take out these top two and we're going to have to turn them. Let's see. These are going to have to go this way. Maybe if it cooperates, we're going to put you right up there. There we go. And now we can put you right in here and we'll put you right in here. And now we can get a couple more things in. I believe we can do probably some more roofs just to add some nice architecture to it. So let's do all of these. We'll get these in here and not. No, there. There we go. Sometimes you just have to direct the beavers around or else they don't really know what they're doing. Let's go to direction and direction. Decoration. Yes, that's what I meant to say. What was I saying about beavers? Not knowing what they're doing. There we go. Let's get a couple of these up here. And I will get uh, a small one for the front here. I wish I had that roof extension on here. That would uh, make these look just a little better. But then we're just going to put in a hammock. So somebody can sleep outside if they want to. This I'm going to pause so I know that they can build that top one there. And same thing here. So we'll let them build that. Now down below, they have already got done what they needed to get done here. So I'm going to take you out of there. There we go. This doesn't need to be here. Let's get in one more of those, but I'm going to go ahead and blow this stuff up. That's still sitting there, which it probably shouldn't be. So let's get it out of there. We don't need it anymore. That can go. That can go. These two can go as well. So let's take those out and then we'll come back and see if we can clear out more area here. We got our little bit of dynamite in down here. So we're going to go ahead and set up for those there. Let's move you down we have one tree that's in the way yeah let's let's just get rid of that for right now it's only 39 percent done so i'm not too worried about it losing all the stuff there we need to figure out what we want to do with this space though eventually we might uh just level it down one and let it fill up with blueberries or we might do something else with it we'll figure that out a lot of the beavers have decided they want to work on the dynamite fields, so we're going to just go ahead and clear out a little bit of this around here. There we go. They can get the other two as they go back there. This uh, might yet uh, go to be Lotus, but currently we're doing okay on Lotus, so I'm not too worried about it. We have a lot of pine resin, but as soon as I find something that uses uh, a ton of pine resin, I'm sure it'll go away again. So now we just have to kind of even out where our resources are coming from. They cleared this up for us over here, so let's go ahead and drop this cooking tent in there. I think I have everything I need for it. Yeah, it doesn't require anything too special. In fact, let's say that is very high priority. Yeah, we'll make it sort of high priority. Once this gets in here, we'll switch this one out, lower it down, and put in a whole new ladder system for it right here. So I noticed that we're not making a lot of planks, so I went to check on our two sawmills here, and noticed we're out of saw blades. So I went up and changed these that were making tools. Well, one was making saw blades, but... Two of those other ones were making tools that we don't currently need, so I switched them over. But I'm seeing that we're low on coal, and why we're low on coal is our coal is clogged up by... Oh, nope, that's iron. Coal is clogged up by dirt. 
So we've got too much dirt. So we're actually going to have to come all the way back over here for the supply chain. And I want to make some of these actually a little more high priority so that we can empty out our dirt and get our coal back in to continue on with our supply chain. Another option we have is to come over here and get some planks from our giant logs. We've got a couple left after building all of these. I'm hoping we'll get some more back in, but 150 planks would definitely help speed things up. So we'll use a log or two and see if we can get some planks out of them. And hopefully the giant trees will grow back soon enough. Beavers look like they did some pretty good work on our dynamite field over here. So we'll start on that. We're going to detonate this one here and then forgot one down here. There we go. We can get that one and get an extra lotus in there. Not that one lotus is going to make a huge difference. Plus, we have plenty of lotus at the moment, but, you know, an extra lotus doesn't hurt. There we go. We're going to come all the way down here and we're going to continue to take this out this might actually turn into more rice because we always seem to be out of rice as well. We might eventually balance this out with some more chestnut trees too, but we'll figure that out. It does kind of feel like this over here isn't really getting used. And the part that is, is about equal to the part over here that's not. So I'm going to take out a good part of this or at least tell them to stop planting. You know what? Let's let's just take it out. If we don't tell them to take it out, it may never go. So we're going to get rid of all of that and all of this and all of this and all of this. And we're going to switch it out for some more sunflowers since we're behind on those. And we'll keep an eye on the peas. And if we need to do a little changing around, put a little bit back, we can do that too to go ahead and take out this dynamite here they'll have to find something other to do and we're going to put in another layer of dynamite here so this is going to be too deep it doesn't need to be too deep as you can see for the bamboo but too deep won't hurt it either so i don't know how he got over there can they walk right through that glass wall yeah they can walk right through that glass wall interesting okay well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and say that these are pretty important and those are pretty important, but these can go down in importance and maybe they'll work on something else for a bit. We've got one tent here and I'm just going to use haulers to fill it because you don't have to have anybody in there. Here, we're going to go ahead and take that out of there. And let's say we want to... Go ahead and toss some dynamite over here. Let's get rid of this. Do I want it to come all the way that way? I mean, it definitely won't hurt. We can do that. And then we also need to get rid of this ladder. So get off there, beaver. There we go. And we will put in two right there. And we'll replace this out with another one of these and get another ladder up there. As for this, uh, hmm, I mean, there are beavers that walk this path all the time, but we could definitely plant some blueberries in there as well and not have that wasted space. Not sure what I want to do with that. We'll come back to that. They cleared out the field for us, so let's go ahead, just toss in the sunflowers. I don't know how far, how far does that one reach? Can reach out there pretty far so we'll just do about that far let them plant all of those in so we can bring in a couple of extra sunflowers while we're here i do notice that we're having a bit of an issue getting some of the stuff in here harvested so i'm just gonna toss in two more harvesters offices and we're going to do ladders up this way as well let's let's pause that one until they get the other one in that way they can build on top of it. We'll pause that. These two though, let's see, they are slightly more important so we can get those in and get all of these domesticated brambles out of there. I've gone through and taken out a lot of the cutting area here. So it's really just the trees that are left that'll be cut. So I wanna go ahead and get in 
just as many of the chestnut trees as I can here. There we go. We're going to fill all that in. And then same thing over here. There we go. And that'll hopefully start bringing us in some more chestnuts here before too long. I'm also kind of wondering about this space to see if we should expand. Oh, and over here as well. Expand out our chestnut trees into these areas as well. We got our dynamite in here, so let's go ahead and take that out of there. There we go. We'll get in another one of these tents. We'll put you right there. And then we'll grab ladders. Just like before. And we'll go all the way up the side of the mountain. Connect them in. And I would like the ladders themselves to be fairly high priority if it will let me do that. There we go. And we'll even make the tent a bit higher priority so that they can get more of the better food that comes along with it. They've got a couple more things in over here so we can connect in the road. Uh, that's there we go. We'll just do that and they can come down here and put in whatever they need. Also, not sure why they decided to go that way, but okay. They've got dynamite in here. We can finally take that out of there. And then they can put the last one in there when they get to it. We'll say that's a bit more important. We'll get the road to go all the way up here. And then I am hoping that once we surround this, that a lot of this land will be okay to use we'll see it may be it may not be but we'll figure it out either way over here they're still working on all of these we've got a lot to go on them it looks like they need some more glowing fluid is that about all they need on these no they've got quite a ways to go on all of them the mountain they're still working on we flattened out a lot of that we could probably Go ahead and take this out of here because we're not going to need that we don't need this here and we'll say yeah go ahead put in dynamite over here we'll grab the road and go on back looks good one extra dynamite here so we'll take that out of there there we go so this is slowly lowering down hopefully eventually we can turn it into a place that we can make maybe some more rice with it or something else uh over here we did get switched out for our sunflowers, so that has helped out just a bit. We're back up on the rise on those. And then over here, we have worked out our problems to get our saw blades in so that we could do planks. Our chestnut trees are growing in. There we go. These all look good. We'll put those in there. We'll make sure that they are not going to be cut so we don't want those cut at all there we go uh not you not you but i do want another one there and another one here and i don't want either of those to be cut either so there we go that one's good to go so that takes care of chestnuts hopefully we can get more in there still debating on what to do there if we want to expand that out just a little bit uh, we have got more cooking houses in. We could probably use another one here on top. There we go. And what is this one set for? This one is set for cereal bars. I also want another cereal bar. Because hopefully with the extra chestnuts we can make those a lot easier. And it looks like we are slowly getting the treated planks that we need. We're going to have to work on this. It looks like there needs to be planks here. So we're just playing a little catch up on planks, but we'll get that all sorted out probably in the next episode. But as always, just want to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.